Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to crochet Halloween pumpkins. One has wings. The other has devil horns on its head. First, we're going to crochet the main part of the pumpkin. Take out the orange yarn. We're going to learn how to wrap yarn around our left hand. Pull the yarn and wrap it around your pinky first. Then around the index finger. And finally, round the middle finger. Cross the yarn ends and press with your thumb. We need to make a magical ring fist. Get out of our crochet hooks. With the hook facing down, pull through the loop. Press down on top of the yarn we straightened. Pull out yarn. Then wind the yarn upward from the bottom of the straightened yarn. Thread through an existing loop of yarn on the crochet hook. This is a starting stitch. It cannot be regarded as the first order of stitching. Keep crocheting through this hole. Wrap the crochet hook from under the yarn upwards and pull it out. Now there are two loops on the crochet hook. Continue winding the yarn, pulling from both loops. The first single crochet is done. It has a V shape. Usually, we put a marker on the first stitch of each turn. It's easier for us to remember which loop we made. The first round is a total of eight single crochet hooks. Keep crocheting through this hole. Wrap the crochet hook from under the yarn upwards and pull it out. Continue winding the yarn, pulling from both loops. The second single crochet is done. Use the same method to complete the remaining four single crochets. The last single crochet is done. Now let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. At the end of each round of crocheting, count the number of stitches to see if it is correct. Now we need to tighten the circle. Find the short yarn. Pull the yarn end on the short side and pull hard until there is no gap in the center of the circle. Then we started crocheting the second round. Remove the stitch marker. The second round is six increased stitches. Insert the crochet hook from the stitch where we just removed the stitch marker. Merge the yarn ends of the short sides into the crocheted fabric to hide it. Start by crochet a single crochet. Increasing stitches means crocheting to single crochet stitches in each stitch. This is the first single crochet in the first group of increasing stitches. Remember to add a stitch marker to the first stitch of each round. This will make it easier for us to know where to start. Next, complete the second single crochet stitch in the first group of increasing stitches. Still inserting the crochet needle in the stitch just now. Crochet another single crochet stitch. Wrap the yarn and pull it out. The first group of increasing stitches is completed. It has two V-shaped stitches. Next, complete the second increased stitch in the next stitch. Still do two single crochet stitches in one stitch. The second increased stitch is also completed. Now you can cut off the excess yarn. 
Use the same method to complete the next for increased stitches. The last stitch of the second round is completed. Checking the number of stitches at the end of each round can ensure that our subsequent crocheting can proceed smoothly. Let's count the number of stitches. At the end of the second round, there are 12 stitches. Now start the third round. The crochet method is one single crochet and one increased stitch as a group and repeated six times. Remove the stitch marker. Insert the crochet hook from the stitch where we just removed the stitch marker. Crochet a single crochet in the first stitch. Remember to make a stitch marker. Then crochet an increased stitch in the second stitch. That is, complete to single crochets in one stitch. The first group, one single crochet and one increasing stitch is completed. Continue to complete the remaining groups. The last stitches of the third round is completed. Remember that we have 18 stitches in total. Then comes the fourth round. The crochet method of the fourth round is one single crochet, one increased stitch, and one single crochet as a group, and repeated six times. First, crochet a single crochet in the first stitch. Remember the stitch maker? We don't emphasize it anymore. Then crochet an increasing stitch in the second stitch, that is, two single crochets. Crochet a single crochet into the third stitch. The first group, one single crochet, one increased stitch, and one single crochet is completed. Continue to complete the remaining groups. The last stitches of the fourth round is completed. Remember that we have 24 stitches in total. Now it is the fifth round. Three single crochets and one increasing stitch as a group. Repeat six times. The first three stitches are a single crochets. The fourth stitch is an increasing stitch, which is two single stitches. The first group is completed. Continue to complete the next five groups. The fifth round is completed with a total of 30 stitches. The sixth round begins with two single crochets, one increasing stitch, two single crochets as a group. Cycle six times. Two single crochets. One increased stitch.
two single crochets. The first group is completed. Continue to complete the next five groups. The sixth round is also completed. A total of 36 stitches. Then go to the seventh to twelfth rounds. Each round has 36 stitches. One stitch per stitch. No increase or decrease. The twelfth round is completed. Next is the thirteenth round. The rule of this round is two single crochet stitches, one decreasing stitch, two single crochet stitches as a group. Repeat six times. First, there are two single stitches. The third one is a decreasing stitch. We use the front loop only. The front loop only is the side close to our body. The outside part of the V we see. The crochet hook goes into the first front loop only. Hook in, continue into the second front loop only. Now there are three loops on the hook. Yarn over, passes through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn and pass through all the loops. A decreased stitch is done. Then there are two single crochet stitches. The first group is done. Use the same method to complete the next five groups. The thirteenth round is also done. It looks good. Then comes the fourteenth round. Use three single crochet stitches, one decreased stitch as a group, and repeat six times. First, there are three single stitches. The fourth one is a decreased stitch. The hook picks up the front loop only of the two stitches at the same time. Then finish it like a single crochet. Use the same method to complete the next five groups. The 14th round is also done. A total of 24 stitches. Then do the 15th round. Use one single crochet stitch, one decreasing stitch, one single crochet stitch as a group and it is repeated six times one single crochet stitch one decreased stitch one single crochet stitch Use the same method to complete the next five groups. The 15th round is also completed. Take out the safety eyes in our accessory bags. It has a spiral plug rod and a matching washer to fix it. Insert safety eyes between rounds 8 and 9. Put the plug rod between the stitches. The distance between the two eyes is six stitches apart. Put the washer in from the inside and buckle the plug rod. The eyes are installed. Then complete the 16th round. Use one single crochet stitch, one decreased stitch as a group and repeat six times. One single crochet stitch.
One decreased stitch. Use the same method to complete the next five groups. The 16th is all done. Now you can add filling cotton. Take out our stuffing cotton and stuff it in small amounts and multiple times. Adjust while stuffing it in to keep the stuffing balanced until its shape looks like a round bulge. Pinch it with your hands to keep a certain elasticity. Leave 80 centimeters of yarn waiting to be stitched. Take out the sewing needle and put on the yarn. We can see that there is a hole in the center of the circle. Now let's close it. Still using the front loop only. Pass the needle through each stitch in turn. Tension yarn. Then let the needle pass through the stitches for a few stitches. Insert the needle from the center of the circle. Pull the yarn out from the side of the body. Repeat once to fix the yarn. Let the needle pass through the center of the top circle. Now we are going to use yarn to tie the ball into the shape of a pumpkin. The first dividing line is two stitches away from the eye. Insert the needle from the bottom center of the circle. Pull the yarn out from the side of the body. Tighten the yarn. Repeat several times to fix the yarn. Let the needle pass through the center of the top circle. Adjust the shape. In the 180 degree direction, complete another outline. The third contour line is at a position two stitches away from the left eye. Complete another contour line in the 180 degree direction. Adjust the shape to make it look like a pumpkin. Pass the yarn under several contour lines respectively. Don't tighten it first, leaving a circle. Finally, pass it through this circle and tighten it. This will fix its contour line. Insert the needle from the center of the circle. Pull the yarn out from the side of the body. Repeat several times to fix the yarn.
Cut the excess yarn close to the body. The main part of the pumpkin main picture is completed. Now let's crochet its wings. Because the black stitches are not clear under the camera, we change to gray yarn for easy identification. We need to reserve 70 centimeters of thread. It's about the length of your hand seven times. Take this spot in your left hand. Let's make a slip knot at this point. Make a loop with your right index finger from under the yarn, with your left hand pinching where the coils cross. Use your right hand to push the top yarn from the back of the loop to the front. Hold the loop in your right hand and the yarn below with your left. Pull in the opposite direction at the same time, and the slip knot is tight. The hook pauses through the loop and starts crocheting. First, we need to complete nine chain stitches. Wrap the yarn around the hook and pass it through the loop. This is our first chain stitch. Remember to add a stitch marker to the first stitch of each round. Continue to complete 8 chain stitches. Done! Let's count the number of stitches. 1V is 1 stitch, so there are 9 chain stitches in total. In the second round, we need to crochet the half stitches on the V shape. Skip the first stitch and start crocheting from the second stitch. One stitch per stitch, a total of eight single crochet stitches. Crochet eight single crochet stitches in total. them, there are 8 stitches in total. Crochet a chain stitch. This chain stitch here acts as a height and is not counted in the stitches. Turn the fabric over. Now start the third round. Still skip the first stitch and start crocheting from the second stitch. Now you are not crocheting half of the V but the whole V. Starting from the second stitch, the hook passes under the whole V to complete the single crochet stitch. A total of six single crochet stitches. The sixth single crochet stitch is completed. Crochet a chain stitch. Turn the fabric over. Then comes the fourth round. The method is the same as the third round. A total of six single crochet stitches. The sixth single crochet stitch is completed. Crochet a chain stitch. Turn the fabric over. Now it is the fifth round. A total of four single crochet stitches. The fourth single crochet stitch is completed. Crochet a chain stitch. Turn the fabric over. The sixth round begins. A total of four single crochet stitches.
Leave 15 centimeters of yarn waiting to be stitched. Now from the other side, we start crocheting with the reserved yarn. Under the first stitch, crochet a chain stitch. Next, we'll crochet six short stitches on the side. Make a ceiling edge on the side to make it look more beautiful. Start your first single crochet stitch below the first chain stitch. Insert the hook into each gap and crochet a single crochet. Single crochet stitches are done. Pull the yarn out of the loop. Leave 15 centimeters of yarn waiting to be stitched. Remove all the markers. Taking out the sewing needle, we need to hide the short yarn in the knitting piece. When the yarn is shorter, you can insert the needle into the fabric first, and then put on the yarn. Continue. off the excess yarn. In this way, one wing is done. Use the same method to complete the other wings. Now start crocheting the pumpkin pedicel, still using gray yarn instead of black yarn for easy viewing. Make a magical ring fist. First crochet a starting stitch. Crochet six single crochet stitches in the magic ring. Pull the yarn end on the short side and pull hard. Tighten the ring. The round to two four is six single crochets, no increase or decrease. Merge the yarn end of the short side into the crocheted fabric to hide it. Now you can cut off this excess yarn. Continue. The crochet fabric is rolled up. We need to turn its front side out. Now start the third round. The last stitch of the fourth round is completed. Now it is the fifth round. We use the front loop only. The front loop only is the side close to our body. A total of six increased stitches.
Crochet to single crochet stitches in each stitch. Leave 20 centimeters of yarn waiting to be stitched. Use the crochet hook to pull the yarn out. Take out the sewing needle and put on the yarn. Make an invisible slip stitch at the end. Skip the first stitch and insert the needle in the next stitch. Tighten the yarn end and insert the needle from the half stitch of the last stitch just now. Pull the yarn flat so that there is no trace of sewing. The pumpkin pedicel is finished. Now you need to sew the pedicel to the top of the pumpkin. Find its position and insert the needle into the pumpkin from the edge. Remove the needle one stitches apart and pull out the yarn. From the corresponding pedicel stitch, pass it up. Then insert the needle from the next stitch down and pass it into the pumpkin. That's it! All the way around the edge of the pedicel, around the pumpkin. The sewing is completed! Hide the excess yarn in the crocheted fabric. Cut off the excess yarn. Now to sew up its wings. Sewing needles through the yarn. Sew the wings on the position of the 7th, 9th rounds on both side parts. Put the needle in the right place. Pull out the yarn. Insert the needle at the base of the wing. And then it goes into the body of the pumpkin. Pull the yarn tight. Sew through the stitches in the wings. Finally, thread into the pumpkin, hiding any excess yarn. The wing on the right is sewn. Now sew the left wing in the same way. Find the corresponding spot on the left side of the pumpkin. Sew the wings on. Finally, pass the yarn out from the same position of the other yarn. If you have enough yarns left, you can tie the two yarns together in a knot at the back. Thread the yarn through the sewing needle and hide the excess thread inside the pumpkin. Cut off one side of the yarn, leaving only one yarn to sew with. Now you can cut off this excess yarn. Both wings are sewn. Now let's sew its mouth. Use back to black yarn for the demo. Enter the needle from the side and exit the needle to stitches below the right side of the eye. Pull the yarn to the left. See our example. Find a suitable position on the left and insert the needle. Pull the needle out from the first tooth on the left. Adjust the arc of the mouth line downwards. Enter the needle at the top left of the previous stitch. Pull out the needle from the next stitch. Return to the bottom and insert the needle in the same position. Thread the needle through the pumpkin to the right side. 
So the teeth on the right side in the same way. Adjust the shape of the teeth. Use scissors to trim any burrs in the yard. Adjust the lines and the mouth is complete. Tie a knot at the back of the two yarns. Hide the extra yarn inside the pumpkin. The mouth is complete. Start making another pumpkin's devil horns. Because the black yarns are not clear under the camera, we change to gray yarns for easy identification. First, make a magic ring. First crochet a starting stitch. Crochet three single crochet stitches in the magic ring. Tighten the ring. We started crocheting from the sharp end of the devil horn. So it will be smaller at the beginning. So be careful when crocheting. Now start the second round. It's three increased stitches. Merge the yarn end of the short side into the crocheted fabric to hide it. Add a stitch marker. Continue to complete the single crochet in the first increasing stitches. Continue with the increasing stitches in the next two stitches. This short yarn can be cut off after crocheting a few stitches. After the second round, there will be six stitches. Now start the third round. One single crochet and one increased stitch as a group and repeat three times. The third round are completed. The crochet fabric is rolled up. We need to turn it front side out. Then comes the fourth round. The first three stitches are for an increase. The next six stitches make three decreases with the front loops only. Finish the three increased stitches first. Starting with the decreasing stitches, we use the front loops only. Now it is the fifth round. With one single crochets, one increasing stitch, one single crochet as a group. Cycle three times. The first group is completed. Continue to complete the next two groups. 
leave 15 centimeters of yarn waiting to be stitched. Take out the sewing needle and put on the yarn. Skip the first stitch and insert the needle in the next stitch. Tighten the yarn end and insert the needle from the half stitch of the last stitch just now. Pull the yarn flat. A devil's horn is ready. Make the other one in the same way. Crochet another pumpkin body in the same way. Sew the devil's horns to the fourth to eighth loops on each side of the body. Find its position and insert the needle into the pumpkin from the edge. Remove the needle one stitches apart. Pull out the yarn. From the corresponding horn stitch, pass it up. Then insert the needle from the next stitch down and pass it into the pumpkin. That's it. All the way around the edge of the horn, around the pumpkin. The left one is sewn in the same way. Once the two sides are sewn together, thread both yarns through the same stitch. Tie a knot at the back of the two yarns. Cut one off and tuck the other into the pumpkin body. Cut off the excess yarn. The devil's horns are now sewn together. Now let's sew its mouth. Make a V shape to rounds down from the center of each eye. Enter the needle from the side and exit the needle to stitches below the eye. Then enter the needle one stitch to the left of the following round. Continue to exit the needle one stitch to the left of the previous round. Finally, go back to the next stitch and enter the needle. So the V is done. Adjust the filling cotton that has been carried out by the needle. Dispose of excess yarn. The other pumpkin is finished. 